Well, hello everyone. Good morning. Buongiorno. This is Faisal Hussain and, and this is Fayaz Hussain and we are here today at Rome, Italy. Uh, this place is called as Torangela and we have got our accommodation here and the temperature today is 2 degrees Celsius and it's damn cool. Very cold. So guys, uh, we are here to study our aerospace engineering at Italy. Sapienza University, also called as Ingegneria Aerospeziale in Sapienza Università di Roma. Oh, I know so much Italian. Well, uh, so, uh, well, we would like to discuss how we are here today. Uh, well, it is not easy to individually apply for university and then come here for studying aerospace engineering, but you will definitely require some external help, and that help we got from Hope Consultancies. Uh, so called the Ray of Hope. Ray of Hope for yeah, us, yes. Ray of Hope for us. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we we have searched a lot based on the track records, based on our reviews from different people who have, who have undergone their process at Hope Consultancies. And then we have decided to, you know, uh, try uh, enrolling ourselves into this course with the help of Hope Consultancies. Uh, All you need to do is just go to Hope Consultancy and they will tell you what kind of documents you require. So just help them with that and they'll apply for the university. And after they apply for the university, the most exciting part is your offer letter. After you get your offer letter, the consultancy itself will guide you regarding how to perform at the visa interviews. Well, let me tell you this point. At Hope Consultancy, the records for visa interviews is very good. Like most of them got their visas. It's just you need to follow what they tell and they really guide it very well. Yes, and so after the visa process is done, you get your visa and it is the Schengen visa, uh, which which will give you the access throughout the Europe, apart from UK and some other, other countries. Well, that's an exciting part. And when once you're here, uh, Hope also provides you the, with the contacts of seniors who were previously applied for this course and who are in Italy who will help you for accommodation and uh, accommodation here is very tough to find but once you find a temporary accommodation which will buy you a window of around uh, one or two months you can search you can personally hunt for places which are you know according to your criteria and then if you want a group of people to live with or if you want a solo room with one bedroom or whatever it is you can satisfy your criteria by hunting them personally and uh, after we are here there are few formalities which we have to complete. Yeah, and Many coming, formalities. On that, coming on to that, the first thing you need to get done is something called the Codice Fiscale, which is the most important thing without which no legal uh, no legal activity can be done here. So your bank accounts, your scholarship, Lazio Dissu, everything, everybody asks you this code called Codice Fiscale and this is basically generated by using the data of your, of your name, surname, date of birth maybe everything the common details whatever you have so this code is generated at an office which address will be given by your seniors or whatever it is once you go to that address you'll be giving a token number and yes. you need to form uh, you need to fill up the form and that form will be taken by the officer and a code using your details of names and surnames is created and that code is that code is called as Codis Fiscale, which and, is very very important. And the next stop is applying for Sojourno, which is called the residency permit here. You get it for one year, the permit, and you need to renew it every year. So that's another process. And after that, you need to apply for a bank account because the scholarship amount given by the regional body here will be put into your Italian bank account, not your Indian bank account. So please be sure with that. And after we do this, uh, you're you're done with all your legal formalities. And now coming to our university yes yeah our university <laughs> well uh, it was uh, well sapienza di roma the aerospace campus what we are mentioning here it is not incorporated into the main campus it is a campus which is separately built and it is the campus which separately uh, helps students to learn more more things about aerospace engineering well it is somewhere near airport urbe which is uh, around 45 minutes away from this place salaria and, right? yeah well, salaria so aerospace engineering campus it was a research center previously and then it was again made into a college or a university where students are trained and uh, you know trained for different expertise so now the thing comes here is that it is a it's a huge campus but uh, it is not as cool as the main campus uh, because it is something which was started two to three years back uh, which was you know a research center before and now transformed into a university so it will take time for it to develop infrastructurally but uh, we have labs 
though they are not uh, incorporated into the academics but they are labs where you can go in and you can uh, try learning about different things and uh, they are classrooms uh, everything is all good and the best part of this university is the professors the professors are very very patient you go and ask them the same doubt the hundred times they will not have any change in expression they will surely tell you the same they will solve you the same doubt with same patience so that is not at all a deal uh, and yeah the academic wise the concept wise the education wise aerospace engineering at Sapienza University of the Roma is very good but as far as you are concerned with foreign exposure you are concerned with uh, a light schedule uh, aerospace engineering will not satisfy you in these backgrounds because it's a it's a course which will require at most dedication and i don't think if you link up with things like uh, uh, foreign exposure foreign friends and something like that i don't think you you can fulfill the you can give justice to this course because what it requires is just spending lot of time over the concepts and a lot of dedication well uh, our university also has many many opportunities one of the opportunity is called the program called CSAT program. This program basically, the aim of this program is to give students a, a, an idea regarding how a spacecraft or a satellite is designed, is manufactured and is launched. So right from the designing stage to the launching stage, a student will be keenly working on the project so that he gets every minute detail of it. And once your handmade satellite is launched into space, that satisfaction what you get is out of the world. Very exciting, very exciting indeed. So yeah, this is all about aerospace engineering well, at Rome, guys. Uh, we also have stage projects and also thesis projects. Well, I don't think every university has stage project. Stage project is something which you do before thesis and this stage project gives you the foundation to actually perform well at your thesis because thesis is something which plays a very important role in your degree and according to your thesis itself you get jobs. So for this thesis you are well in advance equipped with skills with the help of stage project and this stage project will, a will act as a foundation for your thesis project. So basically a mini thesis you can call yeah, it, a, a pre-thesis thesis. yeah and with the help of the things you have attained here you can perform very well at your main thesis and get your degree. So this is all about aerospace engineering at Rome guys. So if you want to come here study work hard and be at a good place just contact hope consultancy follow what they what they say and yeah you're in very good hands guys and your Trust job is done <laughs> and your job is done hope makes sure that your job is done <laughs> thank bye you. bye guys see you